We're here at the University of Hawaii. The march to the capital is going to be starting off. We'll be uh, in the march for about an hour. And I, here at the starting point, the University of Hawaii, that's uh, Bachman Hall in the background, which was the uh, venue for a uh, occupation in the A and here's Pono Ke Aloha covering it as always thank you brother for all the documentation you do man all right we're going live to the internet if anybody get one cool like uh, call and response like I say Monsanto you say socks N O G M O. N O G M O. And when you, and when you, uh, when you lead him out, will you walk through this archway right here? You can try. <laughs> I can try. Have uh, people still joining the crowd here? In the corner. Beautiful day for March. It's sunny but cool. It was cold a little uh, while ago. <laughs> University of Hawaii at Manoa. He just joined us. It's uh, coming up on 8:30 in the morning. A group here marching to the capital. This corner was occupied earlier uh, in the year. We even have people across the street here waiting to contingent from Occupy Honolulu, the Occupy Policeman, do you want us to walk this way and then to you? I'm going to try and get over, uh, might be a little bit of a bumpy ride as we, uh, as I run, <laughs> right here in the corner. Everybody, when you can cross the road all together, we're going to press our pocket, when we start following it, we all need to come over here and start getting over to the end, so we can cross the road together. Now this, uh, also brought... Sponsored uh, in the name of Idol No More, Hawaii, unity with the First Nations people of the continental U.S. and indigenous people everywhere, including uh, Good sized crew here. I'm going to try and get ahead here a little bit. Get an idea of uh, people marching.
GMO groups, uh, Kanaka Maui Native Hawaiian groups, a contin contingent from uh, the Occupy Honolulu here also. the uh, Native Hawaiian groups out for practically every major uh, political action for social justice in Hawaii. In this case, not only against GMOs because they're bad for you to eat, it's because Hawaii is one of the centers for GMO uh, Seed production, which not only doesn't produce uh, edible food, but monopolizes agricultural land for non-food uh, production and also poisons, poisons the land. I'm going to try and work my way up to the front of... Uh, <laughs> A lot of familiar faces, a lot of, a lot of new faces. Decent crowd here. We want to know when it's GMO that refers to uh, what we hope will be a major initiative at the legislature, which is a bill to label GMOs. Skateboard, getting honks of support. Well, the light lighting's good. Let's get you a nice shot here. Hano Hano and Bullhorn.
poisoning our water, our ocean. No to GMO. When I say no, you say GMO. No. GMO. No. GMO. No. GMO. No. GMO. No. GMO. No. GMO. GMO. your time is over. You can see Manoa Valley in the background. Clear day. <laughs> Don't call me now. <laughs> Waiting here to join up on the corner. Always good to be greeted by a sympathetic sign. Go That's the one. You gotta go to work? Yeah. Thanks for coming out. See that sign says this way to Waikiki, but. <laughs> State Capitol, Label GMO, Amana, hey, James W. Macy, and uh, Nova Smith, the Occupy Honey. I'll cut your hero. How's it, bro? Calling also for the demilitarization of Hawaii, definitely. People know the GMO. A lot of different groups want it labeled this year. Here's an actual float from De Occupy Honolulu. Definitely. <laughs> Very clear sign, bro. <laughs> Very good. I'm going to pull up here at the, the back and I'm going to work my way up the front again. Thanks for being with us. There's my... <laughs> Un unambiguous. Here's an actual float. It has uh, hands sticking out of the dirt. Decompose, deoccupy, and destroy capitalism. Compost, PLDC, militarism, and capitalism. We can see that. We're at a fast walk because it's 2.7 miles in one hour is uh, 2.7 miles an hour. Oh, I usually take with my other camera. It's now I'm stuck. Here, there is uh, support from passers-by. <laughs> I'm live. We're live on the internet. 
We just joined us. We're on a 2.7 mile march from University of Hawaii Manoa to the opening of uh, the legislature at the state capitol. <laughs> Trying to get a bill for GMO labeling heard. <laughs> We've been introducing bills like this for a number of years. Last year was not even heard died in the uh, Agriculture Committee, whose members are heavily funded by the GMO industry. If you're not uh, familiar with the uh, situation in Hawaii, Hawaii is one of the major capitals of GMO corn seed production, GMO research, open air research. because it's uh, far away from mainland populations. Walking to the Hawaiian flag here. A lot of uh, I'm working my way from the back up to the front. It's a fast walk. Make this 2.7 miles in a, in an hour. Luckily, if you don't eat GMOs, you should be in pretty good physical shape. See, an actual bunch here is pretty healthy. Everyone from kids to the old guys like us. <laughs> Everybody turn for over to the center lane. We'll be taking the center lane. Yay, center lane. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Right here now at the front of the march. Label GMOs! Well? I don't know. Let's go. I'm uh, shooting over my shoulders. I hope everything is good. We are taking the center lane to. Uh, the capital. Sorry for the uh, bumpy picture, but we are uh, on a fast walk. I've noticed all GMO marches are actually pretty quick. The last one uh, down to Kapiolani Park, led by the uh, Babes Against Biotech, was pretty much a quick jog. <laughs> it's being covered uh, quite well by a variety of videographers, but you guys are watching it live from Switching over from protest to video. <laughs> protest to video. We have uh, people that are... I'm going to drop back again. We're marching through uh, the neighborhood down uh, Baratani Street. What a labeling bill this year. A lot of label signs. I think we'd all be happy if uh, the GMO industry actually left. <laughs> I said, hey! <laughs> Oh, some people I haven't seen in years. Here's a take on a old anti-war sign. Uh, 
Darlene. Hawaii Peace is fun. Hawaii Peace and Justice. Kamana. Also calling for the Ospreys V22 who's out of here. Defend Hawaii. A lot of people feel that GMOs are a, um, an actual uh, threat on the Aina itself. Well, the Cindy Franklin, that? UH. <laughs> There's good. Thank you. This is this is the Orandada moving uh, rolling float, the only float in the march by the author of the. Uh, it is a combo stuff. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm in front of the the float contingent here, and I'm going to. Uh, You, me, all living things are sovereign. Commodification equals genocide. And that's what we heard last night at Vandana Shiva's uh, presentation, which was really excellent. <laughs> if I could walk backwards better, I would uh, interview people. But uh, we're going to do this all. I'm kind of in mid uh, mid pack here. We're in front of a gap, uh, in front of the. Uh... I'm trying to. Take photos with my other hands. And <laughs> two things. Fully yeah, I am occupied. I'm preoccupied, and we're live on the internet, by the way. We got people dropping people off to join the march off the sidewalk into the street. You guys think about the turnout? Also. Go following us. You just joined us. We're on a march down Baratania Street in Honolulu, Hawaii. From the University of Hawaii to the opening of the state legislature, the state capital. It's another oh mile away. Got a lot of people here. What what group are you from? Uh, we represent many groups. Many in groups. Ohana. Are you from uh, Oahu? Hi, from Oahu, representing, um, I guess, all our Ohana, but specifically Ka'ohana, Kialoha, and Ahui Poly, which is a student group on ah, campus also at UE. Great. Eyo. What would you, what, what is the message you want to take to the people and to the legislature? Well, there are many issues at the table right now. But um, specifically with, with this one that I'm holding, labeled GMOs, we wanna it's not, yes, it isn't fair for people not to know what they're eating. And we need to um, really call for justice in this Aina, that we would be able to help our keiki and all our families and all of us to turn the way that we think about food and that we can um, continue to live healthy. For many, many generations. That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, your name? Moani Keala. Moani Keala. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Okay. We're actually walking straight down a uh, lane here. I'm trying to work my way up to the front again. The uh, number of people marching is actually uh, <laughs> 
Civic Justice and Reconciliation Center. I don't know more. You can see. <laughs> We're live on the internet. GMO Free Hawaii. <laughs> Say no to GMO, and I've seen that sign at other uh, rallies uh, this past year. Yeah. Just stay with that end. Uh oh. We're now in two groups. That is one of the main uh, messages, Monsanto poison. That's uh, Nova Smith from Deoccupy Honolulu walking uh, shoulder to shoulder with uh, people in unity with Isle No More. GMO is a big issue with uh, native wines, Kanaka Maoli, for its effect not only on the food, but on food production, on the land, and uh, the future productivity of the land. Trying to keep the group, which is fairly large now, into uh, one group. Uh, gives me time to get up a little bit up into the front here. Banner. Right to know, label GMO. No GMO, big sign, small sign. <laughs> Get this chance here. Excuse me. Yep. A temporary pause here. Now near the uh, front of the march, I'm going to get a little bit in front, and turn around again, and we can pass through the uh, pass through the group. <laughs> we have people joining the group here. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, now in front of the group. I'm trying to get a little bit of headway so we can get a view here of what's going on. 
people along the route here, joining the group and also taking photos. We're in a urban Honolulu, but there, here's a feed store that's City Feed. This has been here for like ever. It's so odd to have a feed store in town, but there you go. I'm going to get a little bit further up and we'll be able to join the uh, group as it passes by. people uh, actually joining the march. Actually soon we'll be another couple few blocks and we'll be at uh, the Deoccupy Honolulu site. <laughs> Catch them passing again. This will probably be a good spot. What a good intersection is they pick the Hollywood map. Punahou would be good. Yeah. And then that place with all the tents, I forget the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that place with those crazy people trying to change the world. Yeah, when, when will they be? <laughs> we have Stephen Sullum asking, where are the news people? Well, you're watching them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So we're on live, thanks. I'll get to grab one later. Your kids? Hey. A lot of people here. From the university, different groups. Melissa Yi. Candice Fujikane, people from the UH, Koa, <laughs> Cindy Franklin, and uh, Great Science, and Ray. Good to see Anne here. We, uh, we actually have a float on the march here. <laughs> and holding up the tail gunner position, Hector Van Valenzuela from the UH. And Lucas Miller, sometimes known as the Dancing Tent. <laughs> I'm trying to take photos too, as you can see. It's a little bit hard. I'm following uh, David Gonzalez, uh, known for his uh, really large and extremely coherent and clear signs. It's so big I can't get it all in one frame. Air, land, water, no GMO. And the pesticide and herbicide poisoning of Oahu. Oahu being this island. Sidewalks that move a little bit quicker. Someone answered the question, where where is the news? Yeah, they're at the Capitol interviewing the pro GMO guy. Well that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So 
Some people call them mainstream media. We call them commercial media. What you're watching now, this bumpy, maybe low resolution feed, live, is what we call independent media. That's us, bro. Specifically? Contingent from Halal Lokahi in blue. They're different. And the group is so big, they're different chants in different places, so. I hear poo, I hear the horns, the conch shells. Calling, uh, that's a sign for uh, Halal Lokahi to get together. There's uh, Nomi from Babes Against Biotech. Movement for Aloha Noka Aina. A lot of student groups here. A lot of groups, uh, indigenous uh, people groups. Kanaka Maoli, Native Hawaiian groups. There's uh, Andre Lopez. No Monsanto, evict Monsanto. Try and get up again, front. I want to show this building. Whoops. That's right. That's right. I'm okay. <laughs> this building, this condo here, we're in the shadow of, is where uh, Barack Obama grew up. Punahou School is right up the street, so he walked a couple blocks up the street to go to school. Uh, people sending uh, solidarity messages for Maui. This is the opening of this state legislature. Of course, government is very Oahu centric, Honolulu centric. But you got people here. Uh, 
people from Palau, look kahi. We're live from Honolulu. It is a decent sized march. It's growing as it goes along. Thanks to I love boy. Very front of the group now. Please stay out of the center lane. Stay out of the center lane, please. Waiting for the group to stay together here. Police are not doing a good job. I have a complaint. people from different islands, different countries. We have a contingent from Japan. <laughs> this is great. This is wonderful. Uh, Michael Brody on skateboard from the Occupy Honolulu. Blade Walsh from the Occupy Hotel. Last Yo. time we saw him, it was being ejected from uh, City Hall, Honolulu uh, Hale, for mentioning the word GMO. He was thrown out by police. We're now at the uh, front of the march, and uh, I'm gonna do an over-the-shoulder kind of thing while I walk forward to get to another vantage point. Maybe we can uh, get another panorama of the shot. We're now... Uh, a few blocks away, maybe less than a mile. Yeah, about one mile. I think about a mile. Yeah. 
Good thing, good thing we don't eat GMO. We can walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. I love seeing all these people. It's bigger. Uncle and it's gonna you get. Know we did all Hawaii. Yeah. We had 200 teachers. Wow. Yeah, we had 200 teachers. I did it last year. Now last year, there was a bill, but it couldn't even get heard. I know. Because the agriculture ag yeah. committee guys held it back. Now how are we gonna prevent that? This year. We'll go visit them. We gotta go to the doorstep. We're gonna go to the. We're yeah. going to their doorstep. You know, like how Walter did at the UH? We gotta do yeah. the same thing. Go yeah. to the doorstep, make them understand, educate them. Yeah. Education yeah. of the legislature. We gotta make them understand. The education is part where they have to know who we are. Now, did you come in from Kauai? Yes. Yeah. Right. What is your name? My name is Kane. Kane. Okay, you're live on the internet right now. Oh, we got a lot of people well, watching. Um, I've been yeah. doing these, you know, protecting a lot of our assets and the problems that arise for us is right here. Yeah. So we yeah, gotta come out. Gotta come out. And here. be voiceful. We need to, you know, share our voice and be voiceful for what we're doing over here. Well, I want to thank you for coming out because I know it takes a lot of time, it takes money, it takes effort. I want to thank Queen uh, of Kalani Children Center. Um, you know, through the Queen, my vision is her quest, yeah? And what I see is moving and educating the correct way. When Great. you educate the correct way, people will understand, you know, what we go through here in Hawaii. Right. But we really have to get the GMO shit out. Get the GMO out, definitely. Thank you. Hello. We are in I'm gonna try and get a little bit in front and I think if I cross the street we'll get an idea of the actual size. Stephen sent Stephen Solom. Thank you for sending a link to this stream to KITV. We are now uh, 49 minutes into the march, more than halfway through. We got probably less than a mile to go. I'm going to cross the street. Hey, how's it from Makavalu? You joining it up here? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, nice yeah. seeing you. Makavalu is a student group. Uh, I'm wondering uh, if I should try and cross the street. Another block or so. I am uh, live. I think I'll. I think I will stay here and get the. Shot. It's it's so awesome, man. Got a lot of uh, support from uh, passing motorists, pedestrians, people on the sidewalk. I've been my working my way through the uh, group and trying to talk to individual people, catch uh, the various separate chants. I'm planning to do now is go another block or two cross over the street. People can get a uh, overall idea of the size of this march. Big march. It's been growing in size. People have been jumping in. I don't think the police are doing a very good job of escort, but my own personal opinion is probably a hard job. I think uh, organizers could do it themselves if they were given police powers. also being held in unity with Idle No More, First Nations people on the continental U.S., indigenous people like the Kanaka Maoli have this very similar sorts of problems, very similar objections to GMOs.
The police are doing a bad job keeping people together. Just joined us. We're at the last third, probably, of a march to the state capitol. Police should keep the group together, and they're not. traditional uh, way of alerting people that there's something happening and to gather together. We are live and direct. pass here so we can get an idea of the different groups and the number of people. Police doing a bad job of keeping people together. The group is so large that uh, can't make it across of course on one uh, traffic light. I think the police should allow the group to go through otherwise it's going to cause us uh, problems. And that's generally what they do, but I don't think they thought about it well enough. If you are on the outside, you can call the Honolulu Police Department and pass that suggestion on. Don't say it came from Doug, because they hate my guts. There's a sign that explains a lot. Defend Hawaii. A lot of people believe that GMOs are an actual assault on Hawaii itself. There's a family from... Uh, Proving a little troublesome, but where there's a will, there's a way. I'm gonna try and uh, get up in front, and <laughs> that's an interesting little tail caboose. We got a police caboose. That's 
it's our police caboose. We got a bunch of police. I don't even know. You know, this isn't a protest against a governmental law or, or government. You know, this is a protest against private corporations that have taken over the government. And uh, these are the people. I don't know how that's looking, but sorry for the bumpy uh, people joining in here, joining the march. All right, bro, I think I saw you on YouTube singing a song. Good one. Say no to GMO, evict Monsanto. All right. Hello, Lokahi singing. Hawaii Aloha. I'm going to. Uh, okay, we got a couple blocks. And then I'm going to uh, try and cross over the street and then merge uh, with the group before we reach the capital. Got a crazy guy doing crazy ass shit. guy do it. Not too sure what this guy is trying to do. This is an odd thing to do right in front of the police. I mean, it's, it's really peculiar. I'm going to, if you just joined us, I'm following, covering the uh, march to the Capitol. Um, what I'm going to do now is get up uh, ahead of them and then I'm going to cross the street so that we can uh, get an idea of the extent of the march and then I'm going to merge uh, with the group uh, as they enter the capital. I want to catch them entering into the capital and that's the plan. <laughs> You know, but we are live, live and direct from Honolulu, Hawaii, capital city of the state of Hawaii, or the fake state of Hawaii. That's a long story. On the way to the march, we're going to pass Thomas Square, which uh, is where uh, Kawikeaouli as King Kamehameha III uttered what? became the state motto Uamaukea Okaaina Kapono The life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness is the cur uh, common translation some people say hey here we got some people yep. documenters and this must be the corner <laughs> this is so awesome. Yeah. This is just so great. I'm half a block ahead of the. Are, were you walking with them? I was marching. I was watch, walking with them. I'm thinking of getting across the street. <laughs> hey. 
what is this? What are you talking about, bro? So Mar we're marching to the capital. Um, I've just been working. I, I gotta get to work right now. Oh, too bad. Well, you can pass them. It's it's pretty good. It's basically a protest against GMOs or a protest for a bill labeling GMOs and also against the PLDC. Okay. Uh, in unity with uh, Idle No More. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, check them out. Which in front of Safeway it sells a lot of GMO products. You just joined us. Police are just doing the most awful job uh, imaginable breaking the group up. If somebody uh, can call Honolulu Police Department and request that they block the traffic to allow the group to stay together, because this is really absurd. And if they want a reference, I uh, send them the link to this stream. This is a permitted march, it should be together. Can't break it up into segments, I think that really sucks. I'm gonna try and uh Okay, what I'm going to try and do is I was saying <laughs> I am uh, going to walk a little bit fast. I'm going to uh, walk another couple blocks over to the uh, what used to be the Honolulu Academy of Arts, now called the Honolulu Museum of Arts, and I'm not really wild about that name change because the person that started the, uh... Is this a sign? Oh, this is a Walgreens uh, Union demo. Okay, we wish you guys, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Don't shop here. <laughs> Yeah, GMO. Ch label GMOs, yeah, this is for labeling GMO. Okay, good luck to you guys. Don't shop at Walgreens. Unfair labor practices. Here's the Walgreens right here on... Uh, Pensacola, kind of, corner of Pensacola and uh, Baritania. Don't shop here. <laughs> Even if it causes some inconvenience, you know, I live nearby. As we walk, we get closer to my apartment. And this is like more my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? I actually live up a ways. You follow me long enough, uh, we'll go up to my house and we'll go up to my apartment and I'll live stream me having a beer. I'm about half a block in front of the uh, march. I'm trying to get to uh, the Hawaii Academy of Arts block. So I can cross over the street, you can get an idea of the whole march rather than the inside of it. You've seen the inside if you've been following me.
We're now about so half a mile maybe from state capital. This is a old part of Honolulu. Which was uh, so there are actually some old structures here. Historic sites. We are coming up on onto a Thomas Square named after Admiral Thomas and a place where sovereignty was restored to the Hawaiian people when it was briefly uh, taken by uh, force of arms by the British in a very private misadventure and then repudiated by the Queen of England through her representative Admiral Thomas. On July 31st, 1843, July 31st was a big holiday um, until the American businessmen overthrew, invaded actually a military invasion of Hawaii, taking it over in January 17th, 1893. Tomorrow will be the 120th anniversary of that day, which really is the one that should live in infamy. If you just join me where I'm, you can't see the march because I'm trying to get a little bit ahead of it. And then I'm going to cross over to the street onto the uh, Academy of Arts side so we can get a uh, view of the size of the uh, group. And then I'm going to cross back into the group, get in front of it, so we can get a live stream of... the group entering the state capitol. That is the plan. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's a little bumpy, sorry. I'm also taking photos with the still camera. We're now at the corner, coming up onto the corner of Baritania and Victoria Street, which starts Thomas Square. I see a group joining up, waiting to join up. This is a Thomas Square. I'm going to cross the street onto that side, which is the uh, Academy of Arts side. Bono <laughs> Aloha documenting. We got people here on the other side waiting to join the group, I think. Let's see. From here we can see the group uh, go half a block down there. So I'm going to cross the the street so we can get an idea of the size of the group here. You guys going to join the march? Yes. All right. What group are you guys from? Hello, Kumana. All right. Hi. You're live on the internet. Thanks for coming down and joining the group. You're live on the internet. Thank you. All right. All right, bro. Now, as you can see on the other side, is the Occupy Honolulu, which started in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street. Currently, the oldest enduring encampment of the Occupy movement. What you're hearing are helicopters. 
course. There is a deoccupied contingent. Marching with the group. Okay, now. You just saw Halakumana on the side of the street waiting to join the group. We are, uh, have a few minutes. I'll take you on a tour here while we got time. This is the Honolulu Academy of Arts. I'm sorry, the Honolulu Museum of Arts, uh, which is formerly the residence of Anna Rice Cook. Anna Rice Cook was married to Charles Montague Cook of Castle and Cook, one of the first five sugar and land barons who um, participated in the overthrow of uh, the Hawaiian nation because it would uh, eliminate the foreign tariff on their sugar. And they figured if they overthrew Hawaii and then had it annexed as a territory to the U.S., their sugar would find a much bigger market and that they would become much richer than they were and uh, it worked perfectly for them and as a result they could live in houses like this. Anna Rice Cook was a art aficionado and she actually willed this to the people of Hawaii, especially the kids. She wanted um, art taught to kids of all the races. So for many, many years since then it was called the Honolulu Academy of Arts, recently changed to the Honolulu Museum of Arts to attract more visitors. I don't know if that's a good thing because it is an academy and that is a helicopter. Watch. If you say helicopters, there's something up, you know. And we'll we'll see what's up. There is a march coming down the street. There's a Terry Anderson. The Occupy Honolulu. From here the state capital is oh another couple blocks. I'm going to see if I can get a decent vantage point here. I don't know if this vantage point thing is going to work out. I'm going to cross back over on the street here. Get closer action. That is Thomas Square where sovereignty was restored to the Hawaiian people, July 31st, 1843. And in this place, and on that day, King Kamehameha III, Ka, uh, Kawikeauli said, uttered the words that became the state motto, Uamao ke eao kaena i kapono, the life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. Here's another group. Looks like you guys are waiting to. There, you guys must be waiting for the. How is it? And, and you're from. You are representing. Hello. Oh, Kumana. There's another bunch of you on the other side of the street there. All right. I was just explaining. We're live on the internet, and I was just explaining the uh, history of uh, Thomas Square, where um, in July 31st, 1843. Sovereignty was restored to uh, the Hawaiian people after a brief misadventure by a Brit <laughs> with a gunboat. Huh? I'm gonna put these. Live online. We're live. You wanna do a? You guys can do a chant or something. Or? Why are you guys here? Tell me who wants to say why you're here. Who's the Who's the good talker? Huh? Who wants to tell us why you're here? Why you're joining this march? 
Huh? What are you protesting? GMO. GMO. And the PLDC. <laughs> and the PLDC. And the very. And the Evi Kapuna. Explain, explain a little bit about the Evi Kapuna for some of our viewers who might be on the continent. Evi Kapuna are both of our ancestors in Hawaii that were buried here. And what, uh, what is the, the problem with uh, it now? We are. <laughs> it's alright, you look good. Okay. <laughs> it's alright. Up to you. <laughs> totally up to you. So there are bones uh, from previous generations in the ground, and uh, people are are people disturbing the bones or yeah. to build stuff? To build stuff, okay. This is good, okay. And you're joining the march. I followed them from uh, University of Hawaii. It's a big group, so it's good. Anybody want to say anything? <laughs> Just say hello. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You want to say anything about your group? Okay. The group now is on the uh, other um, end of the block. This encampment deoccupied Honolulu. The Kaika Hussey from the Hawaii Independence. And as you can see, helicopters above. This encampment has suffered uh, in the past year 55 uh, raids by police. Huh? <laughs> this is really epic. people waiting to join the group here. We have the conch being blown. <laughs> A lot of support from... Oops, excuse me. Not sure who that was. I think it might have been Malia Damon. Here comes David. Oops. Sorry, Monsanto. If people are too pissed, you're gone. <laughs> That's it. No chance anymore. Get out of here. Last side. Still carrying. Yeah. Take, take some. I want to mention that there is a contingent from Deoccupy Honolulu in the march and also here at the encampment. The longest longest running encampment in the Occupy movement worldwide, although there are challenges from Occupy Fresno and Occupy Hamburg. <laughs> oh, I think they got, they moved or something. <laughs> but I'll check. I never heard about the Hong Kong. Just joined us. We're at the corner of Deoccupy Honolulu, longest running uh, Occupy encampment in the worldwide Occupy movement, which has a contingent in this march, which is calling for the protesting the presence of GMO.
Chanting and singing strong the whole march. It's a tough bunch of young guys. I'm going to try and. Oh, 
taking up a couple lanes and the sidewalk. We are overdue by a half hour, but they're just going to have to wait. We're par paired to march quickly, but the problem was... The problem was... Uh, police kept breaking up the group because they couldn't cross over on one light. Um, I think the police who knew about this march and knew it was a targeted, was a permitted march, targeted, whoops, uh, should have kept the group together. Here's a place uh, familiar to uh, all the people at the Deoxpy encampment. It's the police station. Conveniently half a block from the uh, encampment. So. Here we go. This is a good vantage point. <laughs> this is the real media, the independent media. won't give it to you. And that's all you got. <laughs> Hanohano, the one with the bullhorn up in front, said the closer we get, the louder we get. I like that strategy. You know what, I'm going to 
if I can get inside and thread my way through, I might do that, but it's a little bit dense. Why not? closer we get. I've got to mess with my camera a little bit. I'm going to try to get in front here. I'm trying to extend the uh, battery cable here. Okay, I'm back in the front here. Get the above my head shot. I'm going to try and advance to the uh, state capital. It's half a block away. So I can get some uh, footage of them arriving. I see a uh, Pono Ke Aloha, Pono Size on YouTube. He's up there getting the same idea. You should go to uh, YouTube channel Pono Size, P O N O Size. That's Pono Ke Aloha's uh, YouTube site. You can catch a lot of the uh, documentation of what's going on in Hawaii that uh, you won't see. Anywhere else. Now there are going to be people waiting at the capital. Vandana Shiva from India, who spoke last night against GMOs. Walter Ritty from Molokai, activist forever, that knows something about organizing people. It is, uh, while we're waiting for the group to catch up, I want to mention that it's okay to uh, offer water to live streamers. <laughs> I do know where the water fountains at the Capitol are. That's the kind of thing, the first thing you check out before even you find out where the uh, people where the legislators are. I got a long cable for my battery. So I can do the overhand reach very comfortably now. That you can see 
starting to appear as our state capital. It, uh, architecture, you know, the columns, it seems columns are kind of western, but the columns are supposed to be, uh, palm trees. There's some kind of symbolic thing. I, I forget what the deal is. That is the state capital, friends. The end point of the march, but the beginning of a rally against GMOs. There are actually four bill that would label GMOs. There was one introduced last year couldn't get heard. What was, who was holding it up? The uh, chair of the Agriculture Committee, who should be forwarding it. Of course, if you're a GMO corporation, who do you fund? Who do you own? Yeah. So, I'm going to We are at the Capitol. There are camera guys waiting here. You know, you guys got the live view. We marched. You guys were with me for 2.7 miles, almost 3 miles on the march. Uh, so there are other commercial news media gets press releases and air conditioning. Some people are going to walk down to meet the march. Hey, how's it? Awesome, awesome bunch of people coming, bro. Here, friends, I'm going to take a little stop here. There are uh, people gathered at this building, the state capitol. It's opening day today, where the group that's coming is going to try and get uh, bill passed to label GMOs. Center of the screen there is Walter Ritty activist who has helped organize the efforts to label GMOs. He's got a wireless mic on him. <laughs> Aloha Walter! Awesome bunch of people coming down the street, bruh. Half a block away, coming winding down Baratania. You can tell by the bink blinking blue lights. We're waiting for them to arrive. Among uh, the marchers, a contingent from De Occupy Honolulu, whose main point when they started over a year ago was to try and get money out of politics. And what does that mean? Well, this huge building has always appeared to me to be a lavish shopping mall for legislation. Uh, full-time lobbyists, their job is to come here and buy legislation, and it's sold to the highest bidder. They say it's our house, and our money uh, built this thing, and it built the 
bought the cool wood doors and the furniture and all that stuff, but it's a shopping mall for legislation. I don't like that system. Other countries do not allow lobbyists to participate in government and that's the basic fundamental way our current government works. That's why we have GMOs occupying so much of our land. Before Captain Cook arrived, the population of Hawaii was almost what it is now. I, well, you know, it was almost a million people. There's over a million people now. And all the people were being fed uh, from the production of... from agricultural production uh, in Hawaii, of course. There's no um, import. Hey, you're live! It's, a, it's an awesome group, man! A lot of people. Got a lot of people. Are you from uh, the press? Yeah. Who are you from? Oh, shoot. I forgot my other eyes. Star Advertiser? Star Advertiser. Okay. Star Advertiser's here. This is my uh, one lens. I'm broadcasting live to the internet. Oh, okay. I'm H. Doug on Twitter. <laughs> Doug, on, I'd shake your hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii Gorilla Video Media. Sweet. Here they come. Here they come. You just joined us. We are at the state capitol. Honolulu, Hawaii. If you've been following me the past hour and three minutes, you got to walk from the University of Hawaii. I walked down here a little bit ahead of them so you could see them arriving. You can see we're right in front of the Capitol. That is our State Capitol, opening day. We're right here behind Walter Ritty. Standing right here with Walter Itty. March being led by I have no more First Nations representatives.
want to band all together too. I'm getting chat from uh, Walter Reedy at the microphone. with pigs use the word that didn't get through the uh, potty mouth filter. <laughs> you just joined us. We're here at the uh, state capitol on opening day. We marched 2.7 miles from the University of Hawaii to
Walter really trying to get uh, people to move in front. This uh, march uh, in solidarity with I Will No More covers several issues. One is anti-GMO or pro-labeling of GMO. A very closely related issue is uh, calling for the um, repeal of Act 55 and the PLDC, the Public Land Development Corporation, which hands over two million acres to a group of five people. Two million uh, um, seeded land, acres of seeded land. Actually, 97% of that is seeded land. Hawaiian land, Hawaiian crown land. This, this is all Hawaiian land. 1.8 million acres of Hawaiian crown lands to five people for private development, including agricultural land. That and the GMO group are so closely allied that they march together. Hey, Matt Lynch here. So what do you think? Uh, why are you here and what's going on? Because we have a right to know. It's as simple as that. It's, it's really, it's just that, that simple. Will you be speaking today? No. <laughs> uh, I'm a little sick, so... Oh, uh, what do you mind saying? Oh, why don't you go into Cliff Suji's office and start coughing all over the place? It was an awesome march. The march oh, was just awesome. And you're live on the internet. Right on. <laughs> Trying to move the group out into the front. <laughs> Hard to get uh, all the people in, in one spot. There's actually too many people to get into a section of the capital. Um, actually takes over the entire uh, capital. Donald Harp is the Mua Walter Ritty. Absolutely so. Georgia Boy notes GMO is coming increasingly more and more in our food chain for 30 years, uh, which is why there's so much disease now, in my opinion. Well, that's my opinion too. I got your ticket. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll go down for a second and uh, check out these koi pounders. We see uh, Halau Lokahi. Uh, the anti GMO rally will start in a sec. Dances with pigs uh, keeps uttering things uh, that don't make it past the potty mouth filter, which I think on Ustream is pretty conservative. I think she's saying things like darn, like darn the police or something like that. I think. If you just joined us, we're at the state capitol. We marched from uh, University of Hawaii, 2.7 miles away. Anti-GMO. We're for bill labeling GMO and for the uh, repeal of the uh, Act 55. I think most of the focus on this march was definitely a GMO. I'm going to try and get down here. Thank you. Let's go look at these koi pounders. Kamkalo was donated and prepared today. Some, I think like 1,200 pounds. A group brought down the koi to teach uh,
kids here. Keep pounding, little kids. This is is the uh, steamed root of the uh, kalo plant, pounded into paiyai. Uh, it's a staple of uh, the uh, pre-Captain Cook Hawaiian diet. Very nutritious, a very good food not widely cultivated anymore, although that is coming back. 90% of the food of Hawaii is imported from overseas, where as at the time of Cook's Landing, the population is almost the size it is now, and all the food was of course produced in Hawaii, uh, to a very large and healthy uh, population. Big guys have bigger piles of this stuff. Interestingly, the uh, University of Hawaii at one time was trying to uh, patent the uh, GM uh, Kahlo. Walter Reedy, one of the speakers, uh, was led a uh, very organized, very large protest Univers that forced the university to abandon their uh, Kahlo patent. All the guys in blue here. I'm going to try and make my way up in the front. Actually, looks a lot like anonymous. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> get a picture of the float. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, let me get back there. There's the float. Decompose the artwork. I get it. It's the compost heap of capitalism. Yeah. Now I get it. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, I, mean, I just remembered that it was it was about the PDLC. Uh, PLD. Yeah, whatever. Public yeah. Land. GMOs yeah. and sacred areas. So I, I was thinking it would be like the same uh, little test case for like uh, the Martin Luther King Day parade. But then I forgot PDLC, so I added in the PDLC. Yeah, let me get well, PLD, at least you got the order of the letters correct. Uh, now I think it's clever. I was wondering what it is, but of course what you can see is the, the compost heap the of cap capitalism. Yeah, you, no, actually you're... you're uh, what are these? You're de decompose, deoccupy, and destroy capitalism. And then that, that's the uh, militarism that you're composting, capitalism. And out of it grows the, the seeds of revolution. I see. These are, not, these are actually uh, like yeah. like zombie apocalypse almost. Except it could be said to be something else, though, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Co collective grounds for revolution or common grounds for revolution. You throw all these old ideas onto the compost heap, let them rot, and you out of this dryness, you can come something new. 
then he hides the Ah, okay. Well, then, you know, I. So you heard it directly from Anonymous, who is here uh, at our. <laughs>
that was mounted and this opposition still did not prevail in completely eliminating the rail project from our discussion table. So, instead, now uh, perhaps there may be people who would disagree with my strategy, but my strategy has been to get at the table and stay at the table, and my doorway has been through Ivi Kupuna. Mahalo to Paulette Ka'anohi Kalei Kimi, I'm not sure if you are here. We don't always like to follow these laws that are in place, but if so be the case, she forced the rail project and the city of Honolulu to follow the existing laws that surround the Now until such time that our own independent government run by all of you people, all of you, and all of the rest of our Hawaiian focused schools, until that time, we have to be at every level, in every place. We have to avail ourselves to every opportunity to be vigilant and to stand up and to speak out. Remaining silent in the Hawaiian way is to mean that we accept what is being done. Now how many of you accept what's being done when it comes to PLDC, EV coupon and desecration of our EV? and all of the, the multiple, multitude of things, GMO. No. Okay, so if you say aole, then say aole. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, you have been demonstrated today and countless times. You don't need me to tell you the little details about Ivi Kukuna, but it is one of the, the most, the hottest topics that surround our Hawaiian community today. So, I can only say that our gathering here today is to remind all of the people in the House of Representatives and the Senate that our community is the one that elected them there for a reason. They are entrusted to care for the understanding of Ivi Kupuna in the palm of their hands. They are entrusted to speak up on behalf of water rights, land rights, PLC. How can you keep? How can you keep? One of the hottest topics today of which I must go to a meeting is for Ilu Kupuna on Koe Hao Church grounds. The saddest thing is that it is Hawaiian face looking at Hawaiian face at the opposite side of the table. On the other hand, there is the proposed development of which I must say I'm quite impressed by what our news corporation has proposed. It seems that the foreigners that come from the farthest land away have a better idea of how to try to bring about development and contribute positively by and for our people than sometimes our own people themselves. What is my point, ladies and gentlemen? Let us look to aligning ourselves with our cultural understanding. Let us look to reaffirming our connection to our kupuna and the dictates of our native ways and practices. Given this, Te Oru Oru, Ho Omana, Ho Ho Ipa, Ho Ipa, Ho Ho Ilina, Ho Naivi, Ho Puna. Every time you see a crane, every time you see a barrier up and there's construction going on, you know that there was some issue that probably came before the Federal Council. So, be it to Leo Pule, be it to coming to a council meeting, be it getting active. Now you wouldn't see a Hawaiian going over there to the Punchbowl Cemetery to dig up the American graves of those who fought bravely and gallantly for the United States of America, now would be. Nor would it be acceptable. You'd probably get arrested for it. So by that same token, why is it appropriate to dig up our Kukuna? 
I'm waiting for the next of you generation to come and take my place. And more so, I'm waiting for a Hawaiian government that is run by and for our people and our culture.
Aloha nui a kakoa ka aloha. Ina kuku na o kako na makua na ohana na kumali inoha i na ne ala ka i veli na mai. Ki a kaka hi a ka he nui roa ka hau oli i loko ka una au i ka iki ana kelo me ke i a ka naka mai na ana mai na aina like ole mai na halo like ole mai na pula like ole a e ako ako mai nei a pai ka o ye nei a ho i ke i na mana o nui no na na me a pili ke GMO, PLDC, ili kukuna a me na kala no ko hoa na au au ke i a ka kahi a ka maki maki no au e ha i alo no ko hoa na au au no na ko e haumwa na apa o maha wai ingi very filled with with um with a lot of confidence, with a lot of strength, with a sense of responsibility this morning as we see many students from charter schools, from focus charter schools, and other charter schools of Hawaii, from public, uh, private institutions such as Kamehameha schools, from our most uh, our babies, the Kamali, from Punanaleo. Uh, we have students from the University of Hawaii and other uh, college level institutions. And we have Makua here, and Kukuna, representing the full gamut of, of learning. And I, I feel really strengthened by this, because today we can project our voices, we can amplify our voices, and we can tell our legislators, this is what we need. In terms of education, we have just under 300,000 school-age children that are in our public institutions in our DOE schools, and I hear, I, I stand here before you today, not just as a Hawaiian Focus Charter School representative, as a principal of, of one of the Hawaiian Focus Charter Schools, but I am an advocate as a Makua, as a Kanaka Hawaii, that legislators, those who can influence our legislators, public, we need to tell our alaka'i, those in decision-making seats, positions of influence and power, that we need to increase our funding and our support to all schools in Hawaii, all public schools. The reason why we need to do that is we know, we know that learning, that education is a vessel to transform. It is the vessel to transform. We know that. However, we cannot do that without proper funding. Okay? Specifically for charter schools, we do. We are making remarkable gains. Not only are we uh, meeting the expectations of those of No Child Left Behind, expectations that have actually been um, placed upon us, not only are we meeting those expectations through standardized tests, but we're also exceeding their ex expectations in many other ways. Yeah, We're, we also have a whole number, a whole gamut of, of our own cultural expectations, expectations. Yeah? yeah? Hamana, are you learning about your own Aina? Are you learning about who you are and who you come from? Aye. Are you learning skills to be able to sustain and feed your family? My Pai. Now, if you were to tell me, are all the students of all of our entire public school system, are they getting those kind of opportunities? I would say, oh, all now, do we, the lehu lehu, the kako, do we believe it's important for every child that comes to this land and calls this land their home, a place that they want to, they want to malama and aloha? Do you think it's important for them to receive these opportunities to identify with this living legacy, this mo'okuwa hawara aina, and to learn to feed themselves and their aina and their, and their, and their communities? Is that important, Ayo? Ayo! Legislators, we need more funding support for all public schools. For charter schools, what we need is an, we need equitable funding and facility funding. Facility funds. Facility funds. We need proper infrastructure, proper facilities, so that we continue to do the excellent work that we do. That's for the legislators. Now I'd like to kind of transition and talk to us, Kako, right over here. Okay? Ho'oko. Ho'oko. 
to fulfill, to accept. We have been given many, it's my personal opinion, we've been given many resources. We have many opportunities, more opportunities, more resources than I would say we had 10 years ago, more than 20 years ago, in many respects. There's still um, discrepancies and inequities, yes, and we will continue to fight that fight. However, of my generation, all the Kumu over here, all the Kumu over here, I'm a Kumu too. We need to hold ourselves accountable and we need to do, we can do better. We do excellent work, but let's eat, do even better. Let's support one another as Kumu. That's all our responsibility. That is all our legacy. That is our means to cultivate sovereignty, inherent sovereignty, to foster inherent sovereignty. That is in our control. Makua, in our homes, in our homes, perhaps one thing we can do, yeah, is talk about these kinds of, continue to talk, talk about these issues that arise at our family tables. Perhaps we can, every so often when can, let's eat eat together, put eat together, let's cook eat together, let's instead of buying things from Big Box, and I buy from Costco too, but I'm trying to diminish my purchases from the big boxes, we can do that too. Makua, that's something we can do within our homes today. We don't need some outside funder to let us run and control our own homes. Eo? Eo! Keiki, Haumana, Opio. Your responsibility, your job is to learn. Your responsibility is to learn. Okay? We work hard. We're just one generation. There's like four or five, plenty, plenty generations that brought it forward to this point. So you have a place of learning where you can go to the university, you can go in UH Manoa, you can study with kupuna experts, cultural experts. You can do, you have the, you have all of the options that we never had. It's okay to learn our culture because you know what? It's academic too. It took us generations to help everyone understand that culture is academic. So what you guys need to do, Hawana, is ho'oko. Except your responsibility to learn. Pikino? Pikino? And then finally, our uh, beloved kupuna, as a makua, where we stand ready to learn more than what we have been learning. You know, it's, it's transition time, and we need to learn more so that we're better equipped to malama our keiki. So please share whatever insight, perspectives, wisdom that you have with us, um, and we will do the work. Eo Hawaii! Eo Hawaii! Eo Hawaii! Eo Hawaii!
roho ay nakapo. Here today, uh, speaking on behalf of uh, an organization that uh, some of us created so that we can be organized. Mana, or movement for Aloha Noka Aina. I'd like to acknowledge our, our Mana members in the back here, dedicated uh, Hawaiians. And real quick, I'd like to just take a quick moment to acknowledge the passing of uh, one of our early warriors, mentors, teachers, Kihei Soli Miheu. He stood right here on this very aina, beside this concrete jungle, fighting for the, some of the same principles that we're fighting for today. Aloha. I want to introduce my, my Keiki Kani, Kulani. I brought him with me uh, up on the stage today to, uh, to bear witness because I think uh, it's more about his future and his generation than ours. And I want him to always remember from his earliest childhood memories what we stand for what our struggle uh, stands for and uh, how we how we continue to hold them out, um, to persevere and resist. Um, we're here to speak today just on a couple of issues. Um, we all are here for many different things. But I, I think uh, the kaula that binds us together is that we're here to speak to principal uh, conduct and behavior to, for what is pono. And I, we see the, uh, the common thread, Aloha Aina, um, which really represents the principles of, of many things. Our food, Malama Halo, uh, Malama Aina. And the things that we're standing up against are really at the core. Capitalism and the, this need for money. And after just a quick uh, cursory Preview, we find that capitalism and Aloha Aina are incompatible. And so, these issues that we're facing GMO, the PLDC, uh, land issues, water issues, is really a, a very personal issue for Hawaiians uh, because this is related to the land that our Mo'olelo tells us that we, that we sprang forward from, the very land that we came from. So our roots run deep. We are connected and therefore our pain runs deep. One of the issues that I want to speak about is, uh, and just really quick one, to make everyone, to ask everyone to maka'ala, to pay attention, be aware, 